Buongiorno! In this video I want to explain you how you can create autonomous agents with Microsoft Compiler Studio. In fact, the autonomous agents are an advanced capability available in the Power Platform that allows us to trigger agents based on external events, which could be, for example, file uploaded, mail received, task completed in planner, and so on and so forth. And with this new capability, you can transform routine tasks into intelligent automated workflows to improve the quality of your business. So, Let's move to the demo environment and let's see how to create autonomous agents in Copilot Studio. The demo we are going to see is based on Lab MCS7, Creating Autonomous Agents, which is part of the Copilot Developer Camp, and specifically of the Maker Pathway. In this lab, you will learn how to create an autonomous agent, which can process PDF documents uploaded in a target SharePoint document library autonomously, and will extract uh, basic information about candidates to add those candidates to a list through an MCP server. So, first of all, let's have a quick look at the agent itself, uh, which I already created for the sake of simplicity. Here we have uh, an agent in Copilot Studio, where the instructions say that we are an autonomous agent assistant that specializes in processing candidate data from PDF documents. When a new PDF is uploaded to SharePoint document library, you automatically extract candidate information, validate and structure the extracted data, create a new candidate using the add candidate tool of an HR MCP server and provide information of successful processing. Plus we give some additional instruction about not to do hallucinations, or only use real existing data and stuff like that. If we look at the tools section, we can see that we have a model context protocol uh, set of tools available here and which are based on a server, an MCP server, that you can learn more about if you will dig into lab MCS6 of uh, the Copilot Developer Camp where we instruct you about how to create uh, such a server and how to connect that server to Copilot Studio. And here you can see we have an add candidate tool that we can use to add a new candidate to an hypothetical list of candidates. So here I have a document library in SharePoint Online and the overall idea of the demo is that I can drag and drop a document inside this document library and in about one minute, up to one minute, the automated processing of this PDF will happen in the Copilot Studio agent. The agent will extract the information about this candidate and process the request to add a new item to the list of candidates through an MCP server external, which handles my hypothetical list of HR candidates. So in order to validate this behavior, we can go back to the agent and we can switch to the activity section. Here we can see that we have an automated execution of the agent, which will execute as the last step in HR MCP server invocation. And if we dig into it, we can see that we have got the triggering based on the PDF document availability. Then there was the initialization of the MCP server. And then after some searching in the knowledge base of the agent, actually the knowledge base is empty for this agent, the add candidate tool was invoked. And we have all of the information about the candidate that we provided through the PDF file that I uploaded inside my document library. So it is really powerful. And now let's see how we can do that, uh, creating a new agent from scratch. So let me go back here. Let me go back to agents. And in order to create such an agent, you simply need to select new agent. You can skip to configure. You can provide a name, a description and instructions. Uh, and using the lab, you can simply copy those values from here. So let's come here and say that this will be the name that I'm going to use for my agent. Of course, it will be uh, version two because I already have the other one. This will be the description and this will be the actual set of instructions for my agent. Plus I'm going once I will create this agent uh, to configure in uh, uh, SharePoint Online and document library. So here, for example, I can go to site contents and I can create a new document library, which will be a blank library. The name could be candidates data list uh, uh, with candidates uh, files, uh, just for the sake of it. And in this library, I'm going to manage the uh, upload uh, of files and the automated triggering of my agent. So let me go back to the agent. We can go under the 
trigger section and here we can trigger the agent uh, based on an external event. However, since we want to uh, use our MCP tool when we are ready with the process document, first of all, I'm going to the tool section and I'm going to add a new tool. The new tool will be a model context protocol based tool and which will, based, which will be based on the HR MCP server that we have. I will need to connect to this one and then I can add to the agent on R and, and configure, which is what I'm going to do right now just to show you what's inside my MCP tool. And as like as you saw before, we will have our HR MCP server with a list of tools including also the add candidate tool, which we want to rely on. So now we are ready to go under overview and here in the triggers, we can add a new trigger. The trigger will be based on when a file is created properties only of SharePoint. We need to provide a name for this trigger. We can again copy the name from the lab itself or we can just provide a random name. Let me copy this one right now. So when PDF uploaded to candidate library, and this will be the name of my trigger. And then I can eventually uh, confirm that I want to allow the apps uh, Copilot Studio and SharePoint to have the specific permissions we need uh, to access the information. And that's already uh, accepted in this agent. So we don't need to do anything else here. We can select next to move to the next step. And here we need to specify the target site that we want to use to search for the uh, files uploaded and is this one. And then we need to specify the library that we want to use and it will be candidate data. We can eventually specify a specific folder if needed, it's optional. And we can specify if we want to use a specific view. For me, it will be the old documents, but you can use a custom view to filter out documents. And then I'm going to provide the whole body of the uploaded document as the input content for the instructions for my agent. So I'm going to create the trigger. It will take a while, few seconds. And once the trigger will be uh, created, uh, I can also test the trigger from within the interface of Copilot Studio. Now it is creating and adding the trigger. And now that it has been created, I can test it uh, from the UI of Copilot Studio. So I can simply come here and on this icon, I can select this item and say that I want to test it. How can I test it? Well, I simply need to switch to my document library and to upload a document that will become the input for my test. So let me upload the document in the library and let's wait a few more seconds to see the file popping up here in this interface. You can eventually refresh by selecting this button while waiting for the document to become available. Usually it takes up to one minute to become available. And here it is. So I can now select this document and start testing against this just uploaded document. It will trigger the agent. As you can see, the very first time I need to connect using the connection manager and the connection will be the connection to the MCP server that I'm going to use. So let me select open connection manager. I will need from within the agent to connect to the target uh, MCP server that I'm willing to use. And once the connection will be established, I can go back to my agent and retry the action I was executing before. So let's do that. Back to the agent and retry. Now that I'm going to retry, I will be able to initialize the uh, conversation with my MCP server, the HR MCP server. And then I will be able also to add the candidate. As you can see, the candidate has been successfully updated in the system. And if we want to double check it, we can simply say list all candidates. And the MCP server will give us back the whole list of candidates available. And as you can see, we have Anthony Ivanov in the list of our candidates. So uh, if you want to make this agent available to anyone else, you simply need to uh, save and publish the agent by selecting the publish button and you will be ready to start triggering the agent based on the external event, which will be a file uploaded in the target document library. If you want to dig more into this exercise, you can go back to the uh, Copilot uh, DevCamp uh, uh, training material, you can dig into the MCS7 lab and you will be also able to get additional insights about how the autonomous agents work behind the scenes. 
Here, you can find a couple of useful links to dig into the topics we have just covered in this video. The first link is about event triggers for agents in Copilot Studio. The second one is the lab about creating autonomous agents in Copilot Studio and which is part of the Copilot Dev Camp training initiative. So, let's have fun and create an amazing solution with Microsoft 365 Copilot and Copilot Studio. Thank you.